You are allowed to ask yeah, questions. Yeah, um, <laughs> the moment's here, you, just your feelings are going easy opener for you. Uh, no, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, we all are as a group. Um, yeah, it's, the guys have worked really hard. You know, I've had to watch a lot of the training sessions, and, and it's been. It's been hectic and yeah, with the big squad it was tough uh, because you no, know, everybody wants to get an opportunity and prove themselves. And I think with the smaller squad now, we can actually start forming um, connections and and and, and bonds because we only have two games and these two games are important for us because that first game we have to make sure we do everything we can to be at our best against Scotland because it is the most important game. It will it will set us up for for good if we can pull that one off, you know, for the for the rest of the, of the tournament. So just on, on you yourself, I mean, you, uh, Shark said the other day, you said you also are ready to play for Saturday. How far do you, I mean, you haven't had a match yet, yeah. I mean, how close do you, do you being back to where you want to be? Um, well, you can only know that when you get on the field, so, um, and the trainings, actually, our trainings help a lot because it's like a, a rugby game, you know, some of our trainings, it's like a club rugby game, so, I, I'm getting, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm not thinking about the knee. That's the most important thing for me. The fitness uh, comes, you know, um, because we had a session. Was it yesterday? Tuesday. Tuesday. No, no, it was Thursday. The last training session in the morning, and um, yeah, it got heated a little bit, like in a good way, and. Uh, and I forgot about my knee and I just got stuck in, which is a is a good sign. So um, that's all I care about right now is getting over that, which I am, and I just need to to get as much minutes as I can I'm on the field, the training and everything. And the coaches are making sure that I don't swap in. I just stay on the whole time, which is tough in the fitness. Um, I'm just curious, um, from a leadership perspective, mm. how tough is it for you to be able to sort of be in front of everyone else when you've got your own sort of private worries about what, what, what your situation is? Yeah, but, um, Right now, I don't. I'm not worried about the knee. If like, if something happens, then it happens. If I can't go in there with those small voices in my head, I won't be able to uh, to to lead the group. And that's why training is so is so important. And what I do in the week is so important. By the time I play, there's no ways I'm playing, and I'm I'm having doubts in my head. So if I'm on the field on the playing, I won't be thinking about that. So I'll be okay. But also. Like what I enjoy about the guys and the leaders in the group, I can tell them straight, listen, for this just take charge for for, for this for, for this time so I can focus on me. So because I'm always the best when I'm playing and I'm playing well, you know, and that's the and, and I can that's why I can rely on the other leaders. I used to do that in some games when I came back from the last World Cup, I would chat to Andrew and say, Andre, listen for the next few minutes, just make decisions. I just wanna Play a little bit, and then maybe later in the game or two days later, uh, games later, I can and tell them, okay, I'm good again, you know, and and I can be open and honest with that because it's not about me, it's about the team and what the team needs at the at the time. Here, uh, you in the sort of final dress rehearsal stage now for the World Cup. Um, obviously, you've been through all this before in 2019, it, and it feels like a similar sort of build up to to that tournament as well. Um, to various things. Um, is there anything from that sort of pre-World Cup time in 2019 um, that that you're going to do differently, that the team's going to do differently um, this time around? Did, did you guys get anything you felt slightly wrong? Yeah. No, we... we <laughs> Uh, off the field, not much, but on the field, there's a lot that's changed because we've had to change the. We are we stuck to our core things, you know, set piece, physicality, scrums, and all that, and kicking game. But they, there's no ways we can win playing exactly the same way as we did in 2019. So we've had to vary our game, and, and you would have seen this year uh, how the boys played, some of the plays that we've done. You know, we've had to change a little bit to make the team guess instead of playing the same way as we did the last time and which people have studied and obviously have done a lot of work about it so we've had to change quite a lot in the way we play and we, it's actually exciting for us as players and for a lot of the players in the team you know, it gives us more more freedom in 2019 you, as the box did a lot to acclimatize get used to japan and then also to sort of win hearts and minds on 
the ground with a local population. This year it looks like it might be a little bit different. I mean, is there, do you feel that there's an obligation on you to do something similar? It's the same. We're doing the same. We're going, we're playing two or more games, then we're going to a small island um, in Corsica. We, we're preparation, we're doing our camp there, we're training there, so it's there's no difference because we went a week earlier the last time. It's exactly the same, the same um, this year, which we will do. Um, and, and yeah, I think it will help us. It helped us a lot the last time. And the climate is not too different to what we have. It's just going to get very cold. You're going to have to ferry a lot of course. Uh, sorry? You're going to have to ferry a lot of course. You can still go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they'll come. I'm sure they'll come. And it's also it's all about how you carry yourself and how much impact people. It doesn't matter who you are. If you you go there and you don't really make a proper effort, like, but we, I know the place we have, we do, you know, we're genuine about our, how we are, and that's how South African people are, so we could go there and be um, not nice and just train and do what we do and they won't come, but if we really make an effort, I think people will make an effort to come and watch. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm from France as well, and I wanted to know, you know, um, from a French perspective and also the growth of rugby in Africa, I think Namibia is the only African in South Africa, the two African countries in Africa. Um, you made a history becoming the first black captain of rugby. You impact all over Africa and friends. Um, how are you prepared to, or how are you prepared because people will look at you as a pioneer, as somebody who comes to change the, 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 the landscape, like, like when, uh, when Tiger Woods entered the uh, a sport that but was mostly widely yeah, dominated, and now golf became more uh, democratized. Uh, and when it comes to you and the rest of the country of Africa, how are you carrying that, uh, that image and how you think your history, your books, and everything that you inspired the youth here? How are you prepared of how friends, because there's a huge African community in France that are mostly focused on football, and, uh, and but, uh, I would say basketball, and more and more giving it to rugby, and you are going to be, you are already that person that we are looking at the Messiah. Um, so how do you handle that? No, I'm, I'm, I handle everything right now, just try and be and be me and for me my focus uh, all I see like I focus on rugby as much as I can because it is the, my it is my job but everything else is um it's just being seer and being the person that I am that's how I I, I don't prepare for this I don't think like I don't think people see me like that I don't yeah, I don't, if I saw myself like that, I think I would struggle a lot with pressure. You can't put that kind of pressure on yourself. All I can do is just do the best as I can on the field, most importantly, and be the best person I can off the field as well. So just walk us through the mental expectations of defending a World Cup as compared to being part of the chasing group. I mean, the box have built a reputation of being at their best when their backs are against the wall, but walking into a tournament as Spending champions means their favorite tag will always hang in there, regardless of the form that you walk into in the tournament. Um, we're good, we're fine. We, I mean, all you can do is prepare and work as hard as you can and build confidence amongst your squad, and that's what we've done. And outside pressure on how people see us, and that that's we can't let that um, uh, uh, control. What's, what's happening in our group. So we know what we're going out there to do and we're already going to try and win the World Cup for be the first team to win for. That's enough uh, pressure that we put on ourselves. So that's what we, 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 we are focusing on more than anything else. Okay. Uh, thank you. Sorry, continue on that. What, what are, there needs to be a statement of intent, surely, you know, uh, from the team in the next few weeks against Wales, New Zealand, and then the opener. How do you motivate, the, keep the team motivated in those three games, especially the first two, to make sure that, that there's a, a momentum that goes into the World Cup? Because there's been a lot of chop and changing to the team. Yeah. Um, the, we don't, we, we actually, I always say, we, we don't, 
you don't need to be motivated in this level. You, for playing for South Africa, or, uh, I think, or speak for any guy, place for any country, um, we, we know what we need to do in these two games as players. Whoever gets the opportunity, you know, because I think whoever plays the, the next two games might play, you know, the first game, because you want momentum going to that game. And uh, we have to be, and the training is actually the most important, how much we focus. We do a lot of walkthroughs and meetings. That's going to be so important because you only have 80 minutes in the field, but you have the most time in the week. And I think the next two games will help a lot with, um, with confidence amongst uh, whoever the coaches want to play in the first game to see the best connection. And we know that, but at the same time, we want to play well and we want to win and we are behind all of this kind of stuff. Is inspiring South Africa to be better part of the team's mission statement, if I can put it that way? Because there's a yeah. lot of things, you know, a lot of problems. That's, that's always our, our thing, you know, that's always... That's who we are. That's, we know what kind of country we come from. We know there's always something happening, you know, that, um, that could be negative most of the time in the country. And, and sometimes us saying things, it doesn't help. Like, we can't, we don't speak up in a lot of things because, you know, you say one thing and then it irritates a different group of people, but you don't understand. Now, these people were doing this because you know, of this and that. But, like, when we play and when we train, and, and we see those things and we, we feel them. Like in 2019, we saw, we were watching the news, but the coach said, you know what, as soon as you, when you start winning, people will start listening to you. And we saw, we saw videos of people at malls. When we were hearing that people are fighting and this, all of this is happening, we knew it's happening, but for the moment we played, like the beautiful images that we saw, and that's all we lived to for those moments, that 80 minutes, we had to give everything to make sure that when people walk out, they've got they lifted a little bit. It gives them something to smile about. And when they go and visit other countries, they can walk talk and say, yes, there are stuff happening in our country that's bad, but this is good. And when we win, everybody else in the country wins. And I, I think that is always in the back of our mind. Most people think we don't care or we don't know. No, we do know. We've got families who, who, who are behind and who are living through all of this stuff. And we wish we could do stuff. There's nothing we can do, but do what we love and play as hard as you can and give everything and that hopefully that doesn't and not only to insp not to inspire people to change what's happening it's just to inspire one or two people who are in a difficult situation that can look up and say okay that guy comes from me i come from me looks like me he made it from here and i can also make it you know no matter how tough it is right now Thanks, sir. Thank you.